Sailing Hero is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1940. This is directed by Tex Avery and written by Dave Monaghan, with a voice cast including Mel Blanc and Robert C. Bruce. And I don't really know what to think of this. I'd say the first third of it was very boring. Boring to look at, boring to listen to. That's no disrespect to the narration or anything. I just didn't find it to be very funny or very engaging. And then about a third of the way through, maybe closer to halfway through, it started to pick up, but I don't think I ever enjoyed it. We basically have a series of jokes and clips revolving around planes. Sometimes the planes are in the air, sometimes the planes are on the ground, sometimes we're focusing on the pilots or other people working on the planes. I do think there is a good variety. Credit definitely where it's due. We're not just looking at the same thing, planes in the sky, over and over and over again. And also the types of planes, the styles of planes. I don't necessarily know that much about planes, but there's a good variety in what we're being shown. And I found that the animation did become a little bit more interesting around the halfway mark. But again, I don't think there's anything... I don't have a personal highlight. Actually, that's not true. There's one bit I did like, and it's when we have a bird's eye view of the runway. And it just reminded me of like a, a video game. Uh, not a not a more recent video game, but certainly just the way the plane was kind of moving, very jittery. It, it was very brief, but I, I kind of liked that. But aside from that, I don't think there's anything in the animation that I would say I particularly enjoyed. And I definitely didn't find any of it funny. Maybe there were jokes in it that didn't mean anything to me because, as I said, I don't know that much about planes. I have a basic knowledge, but... There might have been some things, puns or something that I didn't pick up on. I'm not sure. But the point there is that I certainly didn't think it was particularly entertaining. Nevertheless, it's not terrible. It's not badly animated. It's quite dull to look at to begin with. But as I said, it does pick up. And it does flow reasonably well, by which I mean we do have a a good pace between each clip. Nothing was dragged out. Nothing was too brief. I think the pacing of each little section was pretty well done. So credit where it's due, there are some benefits, but I got to the end of it and just thought there was not really anything in that that I found to be engaging. So not brilliant, not the worst. If it sounds like it would appeal to you, check it out. You might enjoy it, but I can't imagine it's one I'd watch a second time.